The final score of 127 to 95. The Lakers win their seventh of the year. Third consecutive game. They give up somewhere in the neighborhood of 125 points, which is just fine by the fans here tonight. Well, that is going to do it. The Nets' defensive struggles continue. What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode two. In this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at the Nets' defensive issues in these past four games, but in particular in the third quarter of the most recent Portland game. As you can see, the third quarter is the only quarter the Nets have managed to consistently be outscored by their opponents. I decided to take a deeper look into why this might be and if any of these issues are fixable. A huge reason for the third quarter letdown was due to Brooklyn's inability to defend the pick and roll. In this first play, we'll see Myers Leonard approach Lillard like he's setting a screen, but he doesn't even come within three feet and Booker's already out of position because he's over aggressively trying to trap. This leads to a four on three situation where Harkness beats his initial man with a pump fake and then beats Bogdanovich after he already commits to dribbling. Bogdanovich's slow foot speed is partly to blame here, but both his and Booker's defensive instincts were a larger problem. Same issue on this next play. Lopez is too aggressive on the hedge. Lillard reads it correctly and dribbles away from the screen, which signals Fred Davis to cut towards the basket. Lopez is too slow to catch up, resulting in a foul and two made free throws. The Blazers run another pick and roll, this time from a handoff. The only issue here is that Lopez gets beat off the dribble despite staying back on the ball screen. His defensive quickness isn't going to get any better, but he could have given up the jump shot rather than the lane. Neither situation is ideal though, and in this case the defense isn't all that bad. McCollum just hits a tough shot. Another example of maybe Lopez being a bit too slow, but McCollum hits a really tough shot and gets an incredible bounce. In this next play, Lillard reads Booker trying to aggressively trap off the screen on the sideline, so he smartly pulls the ball back out. But now he knows the trap is coming, so he takes a handoff from Leonard and lobs right back to him, knowing this will lead to a 4 on 3 situation. At this point, Lopez is already rotated to cover the lane, and Boyan has rotated to cover Lopez's man. I don't know why Hollis Jefferson decided to help one pass away when there was no need. The Nets needed to force Leonard to make the longer pass to Harkless in the corner, which would have given Boyan more time to recover. One of the few times the Blazers managed to score directly off a set play, but the breakdown in defensive communication was the primary culprit here. At the start of this next play, you can see all five Nets players are in front of all five Blazers, yet somehow Lopez gets matched up with McCollum. Obviously this leads to a breakdown, but Harris, Foy, and Kilpatrick were sleepwalking back on defense, which can't be allowed to happen. Foy gets around this pick way too slowly and can't close out fast enough to deny the passing lane, which leaves Hamilton scrambling to cover two men. I've included this play to contrast the Nets pick and roll with the Blazers in the third quarter. After the pick and roll mismatch is created, Brooklyn has essentially five shooters on the floor. The plan should be to either have Foy dribble penetrate for a three or Hamilton post kick out for a three. Instead, we see Foy settling for a contested long two in a clogged lane. One final play I wanted to show you guys, which kind of highlights how out of sync the Nets can be at times. Here we see Lopez trying to ISO at the top of the arc, which is already a no-no, but he ends up comically spinning into his own teammate before forcing up a bad shot. Kilpatrick's expression here just says it all. The Nets then run back on defense and Lillard is bringing the ball up with all the Nets already back. So why is Hamilton the one left covering Lillard? This leads to a mismatch down low, which Portland takes advantage of. Overall in the third quarter, the Blazers scored 29 points with 18 coming from pick and rolls, three coming from catch and shoot set plays, six from fast breaks, and only two points from isolation. So working on pick and roll defense will be imperative for Kenny Atkinson. The good news is that many of these breakdowns were due to mental mistakes and not due to a lack of athleticism or instinct.